Welcome to Weld.com. I'm running an Everlast 200 dB today. 200 amp machine, 60% duty cycle. Uh, when I first sat down and, and just set everything up, running pure argon, about 25 cubic feet per hour, the first thing I did was sit down on a cold piece of quarter inch aluminum just to run a bead, just to look, see how everything's gonna set up and everything. I didn't have the pulse on or anything. And it didn't take very long for this thing to blast up and, and go, which I thought was pretty impressive. Yeah, normally, you know, if I'm using a 330 second tungsten, which I am, I'd probably preheat that several hundred degrees before I got going to run a bead. But again, I just sat down and, and hit it and it took off. So got a bead, started adding some filler wear, filler metal. And right now I am, I'm playing around with this outside corner joint on the pulse mode. What I noticed about the machine is good arc features here, very responsive to the pulse and everything. Again, 60% duty cycle. It's not like we're ever gonna get near that uh, on a 200 amp machine if we're doing some pulse TIG and, pu and just straight, straight AC TIG welding on aluminum. But <clears throat> we've got full range of controls here for balance. We can go from 30% to 70%. Uh, our frequency is 20 to 250 hertz. 20 is like a wide open arc. And I'll, I'll go through and we'll get some arc shots of what these, what these adjustments actually do. And then I think what we'll end up with is some do's and don'ts on pulse on aluminum. So getting back to frequency, 20 should be a wide open arc, kind of wide and everything. Get, you start, start putting the frequency to this thing, get up into the 180 and 200 and it starts shaping this arc more into a cone and driving this back into the uh, more of a penetrating type of arc. The balance, if I'm at 30%, uh, it's more of a cleaning action. If I'm at 70%, think of, a, think of it 70%. It's alternating current, but it's spending 70% of the time in the DC EN part of the sine wave, okay? 70% DCEN, 30% DCEP, it's still alternating current, less cleaning, more penetration. Right now I have my pulses set low. This, this particular machine has low and high scale for pulses. Uh, same knob, <clears throat> so if I just hit and went to the high pulse mode, I would, I'd start out a minimum of 25 pulses and go to something like 150. And that's pretty, really, really fast. I have slowed it down and we're on the low side of this so that you can actually see what's going on here. Post flow, I don't have any pre-flow set. I could set that at a couple of seconds or so just so I could get an argon purge around this. And post flow, I'm at my normal nine to 10 seconds so that I can protect my tungsten and also protect the weld area. I'm gonna run over the top of this a couple of times we're just reshaping just to show you some how this thing will run again i'm i'm pretty impressed just pulling the trigger for the first time i say pulling the trigger i am on the foot control today i think we did some videos in the past with everlast machines where we're running off the contactor and the 4t we'll do more videos of those features i'm using a stainless steel toothbrush here today for cleaning my Aluminum, getting the oxide layer off of it. Don't want to use any high speed stuff, so I drive oxide layers back into the weld or the parent metal. So, uh, let's see here. What do we go to? I am at 50% on time for my pulse, 50% uh, background, and I should be at about one and a half to two pulses per second. I am using a 1.5% lanthanated tungsten today, sharpened. Let's pull the trigger here and see what happens. Okay, I've turned the pulses up to about four. I know I have my amperage set at 175, but I'm not using 175. Okay. 
Looks like we've got a little spike on our tungsten we'll need to clean off. What we notice here is we've got a lot of ridges stacked close together, which is good in comparison to the ridges over here that were like one pulse per second, okay? Uh, good arc feature, everything was smooth. I, I'm at 50% on time, 50% background, four pulses per second. Pretty good condition. Now, I think we should step over onto a, just a flat plate and run some beads so that we can look at different pulse sequences and what they do and we'll see the effect of it. Let's get some other material over here. Be right back. Welcome back. I'm, uh, I'm playing around with some pulse features here on this Everlast 200 dV. I've gone ahead and turned my amperage up to 200 simply because when I'm in the pulse, I'm, I don't have the, the full input of power. If I turn the pulse off, I would probably drop my amperage back. Uh, the more beads that I run on this plate, it gets warm and that's good. I can use less amperage, but again, I'm trying to feature some, some pulse uh, uh, settings here. We are up to about 80% on time, 30% background, and about three pulses per second. So I want to I want to show this. I'm going to put the filler wire on the leading edge. I'm using the uh, 330 second, 1.5% lanthanated. make an adjustment here we'll leave everything the same as far as the uh, the balance the percent on time or the background amperage I should say and well let's go up in pulses per second turn that up to about 10 pulses per second per second now. Big cleaning action going on around this bead. Those are the features of Pulse. You can kind of see what's going on and hear it, obviously. So, <clears throat> I want to run one more bead here, and I'm just going to turn everything off. I'm just going to run this thing straight up AC. Let's just run straight AC, 200 amps. I am going to feather this back with the foot control because I know I do not need 200 amps to push into this and make a bead. Introducing this wire on the leading edge, and I'm pushing about the wire diameter. I'm using 332nd. It felt like I was pushing about 332 to an eighth of an inch each time, and each time I do that, you'll see the ripple pattern as to where I introduce that into the pool. I like this machine. I think it's pretty cool. 60% duty cycle. Uh, everything that I've been through so far has been very responsive. I can see some great benefits. Haven't even changed it over to DC yet. So I'm going to do some more experimenting, go through some settings, and <clears throat> I expect to find some good stuff going on here. Thanks for watching the videos. Make sure you subscribe to the videos. New videos come out each week. Thank you.